What is up guys? So I had a, a video posted about some I guess, 6.5 Creedmoor uh, bullets that I casted out of lead and powder coated them. So uh, somebody made a comment on one of the videos that they would like to see how these, how accurate they are. Uh, to be completely honest, at 100 yards they do really well. Um, but I've done, over the years, over probably 10, 15 years, I've done extensive tests on subsonic bullets and 300 blackout for like long range shooting. Um, I'm still trying to get some, some final data on that so I can make a big blog and, and go into like detailed data uh, with that. Um, so what I'm going to do this today is I've got some of my, my cast lead bullets and I'm going to go ahead and test those. I already shot uh, a round. I got got just a little bit under an inch I'd say maybe 0.75 of an inch right at 100 yards uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and film that just so you can see how quiet they are I've had some questions of why would you shoot subsonic in like 6.5 that completely defeats the purpose um, it depends on what your purpose is so right now the reason I started developing these rounds is because I don't have a ton of ammo anymore I can't buy powder anywhere um, at this point, I'm not willing to spend $100 on a pound of powder when the normal price is like 32 to maybe 42 on the high end. I'm just, I'm not gonna do that. Uh, purpose of it is I spent, you know, good money on a very nice rifle, a very nice scope, but I wanna continue to shoot it. The place I'm at right now, they, they grow uh, corn and wheat, so a lot of times that grows in front of the target, and I can't, this is at my property, it's a really good friend of mine, but I can't go down there and and clear that out so there's a, a portion of the year that I don't get to shoot um, at those long ranges but I want to still enjoy my you know my favorite gun and, and shoot it so I'm like well why not spin or why not cast bolts for it and, and shoot 100 yards keep my my skill set up if you pay attention to my channel any of my stuff I developed or made my own targets so let me show you what these are real quick so I got my little logo that I made at the top uh, each one of my targets are kind of have an intent sort of um, but this design is for a hundred yards it's um, of course at the bottom it's got some data on it you could put your name uh, date location rifle your ammo distance temperature barometric pressure wind and there's a little spot for any kind of notes you want to put anyway enough talking let's get to some shooting all right so here's the targets that's the elite is what I call it uh, half MOA and let me just show you my first my first group with these um, this is the first one I did get a, a little bit of fire again these are cast lead they're not super consistent uh, we're just a little bit over an inch and we're just a hair shy I think of 100 yards probably like 95 98 um, this is my other group so three did really well I did have this flyer here and then it's kind of flew over a little bit um, anyway that's kind of where we're at that's about let's see one one and a half maybe hair over one and a half inches um and then i don't know uh that might be mine from earlier just kind of all willy-nilly shooting over here anyway so we're gonna do some more rounds with these bad boys right here let's do it all right time for the real deal so this is what we're shooting 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 hell yeah um, just 140 grain cast lead bullet. Um, I'm using Trail Boss. They are running about 10, 80 to 90, somewhere around there. It is hot as hell today. Uh, we're over 100 degrees. Um, so these are shooting a little bit faster, um, but they are still remaining subsonic. So I'm going to do a five shot group first, and then I'm going to do uh, just run the dots, one shot per, per dot. And then we'll run down there and take a look at it. So let's uh, let's get it going. We'll put that little guy right there. All right. So the cool thing about these, I mean, these are just absolutely insane quiet. And if you ask why I wear my hat, kind of funny. Uh, I turn it sideways just a little bit, throw it up kind of high, covers the scope so the sun's not in my eyes. But anyway, here we go.
See how quiet it is? These are just laying on top of each other. Oh, I got a little bit of a fire there. All right, there's my first shot. There's five. Uh, one did go a little bit high. Again, these aren't necessarily uh, super consistent but that's not too bad at all. So let's do, do five more and just run the dots. And the wind did pick up a little bit. Um, let's see, I need to go right maybe 0.5. Call that good. There's five, we'll run five of these. Run across the top five dots. Okay, so you can hear how quiet it is. Again, like I was saying, is it in person? Our camera just doesn't justify it. Um, these guys over here about uh, 50 yards away shooting their guns, no silencer. Oh, that's the other thing is this has a silencer on it. Let me get a shot. So this is the uh, Tika 6.5 Creedmoor uh, Gen 2 Razor. I uh, forgot what it is, 4.7 to 27, something like that. Anyway, let's run down there and take a look. All right, so here we are. Um, you know, a lot of people talk about all the flyers and they try not to count them. Um, man, you got to count them. It is what it is. There's no there's no excuse not to count them. Some people, oh, I pulled or I did. It is what it is. Uh, that's my group. I would say that's pretty close. I'm going to call it two, maybe two and a half inches, somewhere right around in there. Um, these other ones, of course, it's not 100% zeroed, as you can see, but that's about an inch off to the left. Um, it's a little bit, half an inch, uh, 7.75 over. Uh, that one's perfect, but that is the results. Uh, I'm not going to fudge anything. It's 100% what it is. So uh, if we look at that as far as being the group, then... Again, not super accurate, or I would say it's good enough uh, for a hundred yard work, especially if you want to do any kind of fairly small, medium game, whatever you need that's quiet, works out pretty decent. Um, but it's not precision, it's, I wouldn't. All right, I got bullets flying my way, it's fucking awesome. I don't know if you guys just heard that hit on camera literally just hit this board uh so let's get the hell out of here let's go back over there um, i'm gonna go ahead and run some one set or 147s on this one just to show you like major difference and then i'll run a couple like a super and a sub next to each other all right so 
uh, going at the elite target. That's the uh, 0.31 circle. Gonna run uh, a drill and then I've got some targets set up at 500. I'm gonna go ahead and hit those. Let's see if we can get that sound report on this and then I'll run back and forth between the, uh, the supers and subs. So let's get it. And I'm getting a lot of mirage because it is so hot and I left all this stuff out here. So let's see how good we can do. So that group is actually not, it's not bad, but that is not great. Okay, so uh, 500 yards. Again, if you pay attention to the channel, I got my little thing up here. So just a little cheat. Uh, we can take 500, drop down to 5.0, and then subtract 2.2 from that. And that gives us our yardage. So that would be 2.8. We're going to dial up 2.8. And I've got almost zero wind right now. So let's see if we can hear this hit. And don't forget to set your parallax. And there is a ton of mirage. There's so much mirage I can barely see the target. Yes, sir. Let's go ahead and take one more shot down there. Beautiful. Okay. So let's do... Let's go ahead. I'll do a... Supersonic, subsonic, supersonic, and subsonic, whatever. Just so you can hear the difference. So first one, I think, is a super. So this one's going, I'll do 500, 100, blah, 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 back and forth. And final set. All right. So hopefully you can hear the difference. I got these guys over here shooting a little bit, but uh, super quiet. All right. So I'm back home. I had a bunch of people ended up coming over where I was, you know, kind of talking, looking at all my stuff. So I didn't actually get a picture of the target after I shot it, the paper targets. Um, but this is the steel target that I was shooting at. Um, so you can see I've got one, two, I hit somewhere over here, I think. I think I actually shot the chain right over here somewhere as well. Um, but this is a four inch, I think it's a four inch target. It might be three inches. No, it's a I think it's a four inch. It's either a four inch or three inch. I don't know. As compared to my hand. Uh, it's a finger. Anyway, I think, I think it's a four inch target. I don't have a ruler. Um, this one I, I had set up at 500 uh, that I was hitting. You could hear the report back in the video. Um, 
unfortunately I didn't get the paper targets, but I got this one that I got to take a picture of or video of. So overall had a really good day. It's really nice when I can, it's been a while since I, I shot at that distance. So to be able to just hit that first round hit on this thing, um, just, you know, using some of the data and everything that I, I teach in some of my videos and on my posts and all that good stuff. It's really nice to just dial that up using my formula and just first round hit after not being able to shoot for uh, quite a while, you know, several months or more. Uh, so it's really nice. Um, but that is uh, the result. And of course, the other video, I'm going to link this all in one big video, but earlier in this video, I guess, uh, you can see some of the results of the subsonics. Um, so overall, good day. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in.